Hi, I'm Harry. You're watching MHZ Worldview. Here are the top three countries you want to know about this week. First off is the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, a nation situated in Asia that has a population of 168 million. Its capital is Islamabad. The country's climate varies as much as its scenery, with cold winters and hot summers in the north and a mild climate in the south. Pakistan is home to many archaeological sites that date back to periods when ancient empires such as the Persians, Afghans, and Arabs controlled the region. A unique characteristic of Pakistani culture is its national dress, called the shalwar kameez, which is worn by both men and women and consists of baggy trousers with a loose-fitting tunic. Field hockey is the national sport of Pakistan, but cricket is regarded as the people's sport and is more popular. Next up is Georgia, a transcontinental country located in the Caucasus region. It has a population of 4.6 million and its capital is Tbilisi. The Caucasus mountain range covers much of Georgia and is the primary geographic feature of the country. Due to its location, Georgia has interacted with several cultures over the course of many centuries, which has contributed to its rich history and culture. About 80% of the population is Orthodox Christian, and some of the oldest Eastern Orthodox churches are located in Georgia. Georgia is well known for its cultivation of classical and traditional arts, including, but not limited to, dance, music, and folklore. And our last country this week is the Democratic Republic of the Congo. 66.5 million people inhabit the country, and its capital city is Kinshasa. At roughly 900,000 square miles, it is the third largest country in Africa, and about the size of the United States, east of the Mississippi. Straddling the equator, the Democratic Republic of the Congo is covered with tropical forests and is home to numerous endemic species. The Congo River and its forested basin encompasses about 60% of the country, and its tributaries provide about 8,000 miles of waterway transportation. In 1971, the country's formal name was changed to Zaire, but was changed back to its current name after a coup d'etat in 1997. And there you have the three countries for this week. Stay tuned to MHC Worldview.